All right, so up next is the meat of what I want to talk about, which is just a basic downstroke, something like this. Just the downstroke is just so important to us playing Scotty Jamison. It's kind of the basis for the sound, it's the basis of how we build our strokes. And so I want to try to explain how to do it because it is deceptively hard to get right. It's really, it's really unnatural. Um, I, I didn't start doing it when I picked up the shamisen. Uh, Kyle had to, you That's know, me. yeah, Kyle had to ghost me and explain what was hap or show me how it's done. So I'm gonna try to explain it. So if you, maybe if you don't have a teacher around, or maybe they'll just give you a better understanding of what's happening. So for the downstroke, I believe that the primary mechanic that we're using is going to be. Uh, pronation, this this inward forearm rotation. To that effect, you'll find that when uh, players are sort of about to perform a downstroke, that their bocce will be pointing maybe away from the do, or maybe parallel to the do. You can almost see the bottom of it from the player's perspective. And then at the bottom of the downstroke, you'll notice that the bocce is now pointing towards uh, the bottom of this sadowo here, the bottom of the neck. But that tells us that the forearm rotation is definitely going to be the primary mechanic here. If you notice, my elbow moves slightly when this happens. So we know that there's some kind of arm movement happening here. Personally, I don't think about it consciously. I think it's simply to accommodate um, pressing the bocce down to the skin. If I just rotate without trying to move my arm and then continue trying to press down, eventually my arm's just going to raise because I can't rotate my forearm any further. So that arm movement's happening, but I don't really think it's conscious. And we're also gonna see um, ulnar deviation, uh, which is gonna be this movement. Oops. And that has to occur, or else we would just get stuck on the string. We would never make a sound. And again, I don't think this is particularly conscious. I'm just trying to rotate my forearm down, and because of this, this angle that we have, right? We have this 90 degree angle in our wrist and um, this angle to our bocce. When we try to rotate, we're simply just gonna, um, when we meet the resistance of the skin, uh, something's gotta give and that's gonna be our wrist and we're gonna deviate outward to make this happen. But again, it's not particularly conscious. All I'm really thinking about is rotating my forearm. Uh, you'll, you'll notice that when I re release the pressure, uh, that my arm will maybe drop slightly and then when we rotate out my arm will drop a little bit more to raise my hand a little bit. Um, it's not something I really think about but it is there and it sort of explains what's happening so you know we might lower our arm to raise our hand we're going to supinate outward um, to get ready to perform a downstroke we're going to rotate our forearm inward we're going to pronate right and also raise our arm to make the downstroke happen and then we're going to relax, which is going to lower or yeah, we're going to relax, which is going to lower our arm slightly. And then when we supinate outward to get ready for the next stroke, uh, we're going to lower our arm even a little bit more. Again, not conscious, but something to consider. Um, when we do this, it should feel relaxed. You'll probably feel that pressure being applied to your thumb because when we when we rotate, you know, that's just that's because that's the thumb is going to be what's exerting the pressure. But other than that, it should feel pretty relaxed. The goal of a good downstroke is we want to feel relaxed and we want to get good tatsuki, this percussive sound. We shouldn't really have to strain for it. Um, it gets harder as it goes across the strings. You know, when we strike the nino ito, it's really easy to swipe the, the sanu ito and it's really easy to maybe not get good tatki, but it should still feel relaxed and we shouldn't be striking any other strings. Same for the ichi no ito. The ichi no ito is gonna be the hardest. Um, you might be tempted to put more force in than you have to, but it should still feel relaxed and we can still get good tatki. Um, as for developing a good sound stroke, uh, I'm not really sure I can explain it, but maybe I can give some tips on maybe how to get how to develop a good downstroke. First of all, the goal 
with this again is to feel relaxed and get good tatki in, in, in Ushirabachi at least. It might be worth practicing songs that you know already just in Ushirobachi and just trying to get good tatki on every single note. Maybe something simple like Sakura. It'll sound really bo boring. Um, it's not going to be dynamic or interesting. But if we do it enough, eventually this a good downstroke will just become normal. It'll just become, become something that we do. We don't have to think about it. And that's the goal here. Um, other things that might help just, in my case, I try to be conscious of sort of where my thumb is and where the string is and what that feels like. Um, this is especially helpful on the ich no ito to just get a good relaxed downstroke that still gives me good tataki. So I'm just feeling, you know, where my thumb is uh, in relation to the string and just remembering what that feels like and then just trying to make that my new norm. Another thing that I think about is that I might, I don't like intuitive descriptions of things, but it, it's helped me a lot to try to focus on the sensation of trying to press my thumb down to the skin. Obviously this, something, this is something I can't do uh, with the bocce and the strings in the way, but um, focusing on the sensation of trying to do that has helped me uh, swing my bocce at a better angle so I can get good tatki with less effort and swipe the Nino Ito less, especially when I'm trying to strike the Ichino Ito. And I just did it there, but whatever. One of the things that might make developing this easier, just focusing on getting good tatki and a good downstroke on the San no Ito first. It's gonna be the easiest. It's gonna be, um, we're gonna require the least amount of effort and we want that effortless feeling to continue throughout the strings. So when we, Strike the Nino Ito, it's going to require a little more effort, but we want it to feel effortless. And when we get to the Ichi no Ito, it might, we might start feeling a little bit of strain because we have to deviate so much. Um, we, again, might feel like we have to press really hard to get good tatuki. But we want to focus on just, you know, an effortless, relaxed feeling or as being or being, at least being as relaxed as we possibly can. It's going to be a little hard with the Ichi though, but um, you know, if you, if you work at it, then hopefully you can get uh, a nice relaxed swing with good tatuki.